Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. Time for another blacksmith question of the day. This time I'm gonna answer some questions from my curtain tiebacks, my Oakley cur curtain tiebacks video. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link in the description and at the end of this video to where you can go view that video. So I'm gonna go ahead and start here. Uh, like always, got my phone in front of my hands. We're gonna read your questions off one by one, do three, and uh, hope we, we can come across them and get them going. So let's go. First question, Ladian Bathma. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that properly. I probably am not. Forgive me for that. This is Hello Roy. Great video as always. Thanks. Thanks. Question. Ever thought of posting on Instagram? It's a great way to keep us up to date with what you are busy with and for promotional purposes for your business. Great question. Yes, I am on Instagram. Been on there for quite some time. Uh, sorry if I haven't express that enough here on the channel. But yes, we do have an Instagram account. You can find us over there at the handle Christ Center Ironworks um, and just go check that out. I'll also put a link to that down in the description as well. And yes, we do use that quite officially to do self-promotion, things like that, behind the scenes stuff. I post things that I'm making usually for clients and things of that nature over there. Not as often as I should, but you know, um, just I, I don't have time to do it all you know I have time to make some YouTube videos I have time to knock out customer orders and then uh, <laughs> do questions of the day so that's it yes thanks for the great question that is piece of good advice is to get on Instagram it's a great place it's a lot cleaner than Facebook so I highly recommend it next question comes from Lynn Blacksmith this is a week ago sorry Lynn it's took me so long to get back Good one, Roy. What blower are you using on the forge now? Question mark. So, good, good question. I've done a video a little while ago that I was testing out using Coke, and in that video, I am basically using a shop dust collection blower, if you will. I bought it at Harbor Freight. I'll leave a link, an affiliate link in the description that you can look at that uh, if you gotta buy one online or something. It's a great blower, provides a ton of air, actually probably more air than what most people needs for uh, regular everyday forging, but it definitely provides enough air for the coke to keep it nice and hot. And it's not too noisy, so I really like that as well. Uh, again, it's just like a, a shop dust collection blower without the bags and things of that nature that would suck up sawdust and whatnot. I just use the exit port or the blower portion um, the what would have been the exit portion of it to take and hook up to the forge. Runs great, works great, can't really ask for a better blower that way. And then the way that I, mo the way that I moderate the heat is I've got a damper. So it's a little bit of a blow-by system. If there's a T that goes up into the twir, and when I close the damper, it puts more air up into the forge. When I open the damper, it allows more to blow by, and there's less air in the forge. Pretty simple setup works really great. So thank you, Lynn, for the great question. Next question comes from Dustin Grave Rose. Again, one week ago. Thank you for asking the question. How can you tell if your anvil is not working properly? I've tried forging on an anvil my uncle gave me, and I just seems like I get nowhere after hours and hours of forging. I've checked my forge. It's producing great heat. I'm using a three pound hammer, so I'm guessing it must be the anvil. So anvils are an inanimate object. They are basically just a place that you beat things on. So that really highlights that it can't really be the anvil. There's no mechanical moving parts to the anvil. Some things that you can do to make your anvil a lot more efficient is making sure that it is properly secured to its base and that that base is properly secured to the floor. The more you anchor that anvil down, the more rock solid it's gonna be. One of the biggest things that helps an anvil is mass, mass under hammer. That is going to help your work, that's gonna help your anvil not jatter all around and ring like crazy, is mass under hammer. Just remember that. So you wanna take and put as much mass as you can underneath the anvil, so this way there's obviously enough mass in the anvil itself, and therefore your hammer as well. When you have something like what I have, I have a tri-leg setup, but my base weighs over 350 pounds. It's right around 375, give or take. I didn't measure it out to the actual pound here. 
and then Olga herself is 465 pounds. So that sitting right there all together is in like, it's like a grand total of nearly a thousand pounds sitting underneath the uh, hammer blows of my hammer. So I got excellent rebound, the work moves very efficiently. The second thing that you know goes from that under just doing the mass under the hammer and tying your things down is you working progressively forging. A lot of times beginner's mistakes and even sometimes my mistake, professional mistakes, guys have been doing it a while, you get things out of sequence, right? You just kind of get in the rhythm of hammering and you forget to take and hammer efficiently, which is usually if you're drawing out, it starts at closest to you and works out away from you. So that means you're pulling the material through the dies or you're hammering and you're using your hammer to progress up the bar of the material. Those two types of things, uh, and then if you're upsetting, right, or you're flattening a piece out, you're getting it straightened back up, you're hammering from the end of the bar back to the smith himself or herself, and that is, that, that's progressive forging. So getting your steps in order will take a lot less time in the long run. It's a little bit more head scratching up front, but hopefully that will help you out a bit. Three pound hammer, also it may be a bit too heavy of a hammer for you and you're cause, it's causing you to slow down with your hammer strikes versus getting that nice velocity and that whip and getting a little quicker pop. So say you've got a piece of steel, this is where this will come into play. Say you have a piece of steel that's a half inch square stock or 12.5 mil square and you're hammering it with this three pound hammer but because of the weight, you're having to swing it a little slower. That stock cools and chills off very fast under the hammer, and then you have to take more and more and more heats to get the same amount of work done. As where if you had a little lighter hammer and you could get an extra third more blows per, per forging heat that you're using, you will be able to progress across the work a lot quicker and it won't feel like it's so bad. So those are my suggestions to you. Uh, without knowing what type or size anvil you have, uh, that's about as much as I can answer. Again, just drop down. Uh, if you see this video, drop that question. And again, give me more context of uh, what type of anvil you have, and maybe we can help you out in you know, future videos. Also, another thing I'd like to mention, in these videos, what I love seeing in the blacksmith question of the day is sometimes I don't get around to all the questions or I don't really get around to all the questions on the channel, but I see a lot of my regulars here on a daily basis answering people's questions for me and answering them a lot of times in the way that I would have answered them. So thank you all so much for contributing your time to answer beginner people's questions or recommending videos that I've done in the past to them and, and, and doing that for me. I really do appreciate that. Uh, and it does help this be this big family and community, uh, which Jessica and I are just so happy to be a part of. So that's it for today, for this blacksmith question of the day. I hope that that was uh, informative to uh, some of you out there. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Let me know what you thought down in the comment section down below. As always, ask your questions down there at hashtag blacksmith question of the day. When you put it down in the comment section down below. That way I know that you have a question there. It'll highlight that for me and uh, that, that'll be a great help so I can search them faster, which is always a good thing. And if you'd like to support the content that Jessica and I do here at Christ Center I Works, a great way of you doing that is checking out our website over at blacksmithpdfs.com. Without further ado, I'm going to get back to forging. God bless you and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.